This is Rob English of English Cycles. Uh, I've been hand building custom steel bikes in Oregon for the last uh, 12 years or so. Um, currently working out of Cottage Grove in Oregon. This is Ben's Aero Road Bike. Um, second time I've got to work on a project with Ben. His previous bike was a, a kind of do it all convertible bike that shipped with a set of 650B wheels and a set of 700C wheels. And Ben realized uh, he was rarely using the 700 wheels, which were a set of MV 4.5 ARs. And so he decided he'd like a second bike using, those, using that wheel set. And so we discussed various ideas around an aero road bike. When it came to the front end of the bike, there was discussion about whether to try and integrate the hoses completely. Um, yeah, it's a very nice clean look, but uh, the, the kind of off the peg solutions for doing this involve a, an oversized head tube. Um, and Ben requires quite a tall head tube, he's a, a tall rider. So as we started talking about it, initially we decided we'd keep the hoses external for ease of adjustment, not have to have that big head tube. But as I was looking at the design, I decided to try something different and actually realized I could take a section of aero down tube and turn that into the head tube by bulging the ends and brazing in a section of tubing to each end to accept my own custom headset that allows for a tapered fork to fit into a, a non-oversized head tube. And as I was doing that, I realized that with the Aeros shape, there was a section down the back of the head tube that would be ideal to route the rear brake hose. Uh, so went back and chatted with Ben some more and we decided to do a kind of almost fully integrated hoses where they would exit the handlebar, um, loop along either side of the stem and then the front hose would go into the steerer to go to the front caliper and the rear one would go into the head tube to go to the back brake. So the inside of the head tube has a guide brazed in to that back section so there's no chance of the hose uh, interfering with the steerer tube. Um, and then the rest of the bike, aero down tube to match. The seat tube is custom butted and then overlaid in-house and that was offset slightly to the back of the bottom bracket shell which is a oversized T47 bottom bracket to allow room for that rear brake hose and the offset means there is room for a wheel cutout on the seat tube without shortening the chain stays too much because I wanted to keep the uh, weight distribution correct for how Ben sits on the bicycle. Uh, custom adjustable cap for the overlaid seat mast um, and then drop seat stays, custom bent and formed in-house uh, and set up to you know just give room for that rear caliper on the left side. And yeah, all built up with uh, SRAM ETAP and the the MV wheels and cockpit. And with a nice bold paint job by Colorworks. And uh, that's the bike. Thanks for listening.